Chapter 2, the new guild recruit. Sorry for the cliffhanger. Oh my god. So, we're already getting new cutscenes. I am not used to this. Sorry guys, I haven't played this game before. Well, I haven't played... It's more the Sky version, but anyway. What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode of... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the last episode... We did a whole generic, oh no, I'm a Pokemon, and help, and we met our partner Pokemon, and who ends up being my brother, as usual, and we don't know what the fuck's going on, and then coughing, and Zubat came, trying to fuck us in the ass, but we said, hell no, we, um, broke their dicks off, and threw them away, and got Justin's treasure back, and why am I talking about the D word? But anyway, this is way really tough skilled, we're my exploration team, you need to register your team here. Then you have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. Yikes. Is there something just a little odd about this place? No. I've got Mason with me this time. I've got my best brother in the world. Uh, I don't really think my brother thinks like that, but whatever. I have to be brave. Bowman detected. Bowman detected. Who's footprint? Who's footprint? Who's footprint is Bulbasaur's. How many times do we have to say this? Nope. I have to be strong. You may enter. Someone's with you. So get that stranger to stand up there. Okay. They probably meant you, Mason. They said to stand up here. There's a grate covering the hole. It's made so no one can fall through. So it's strange. Looks like it'll take on my feet or... Uh, sorry about that. Hey, you stranger. Get on the grate. Okay, okay, Jesus. Oh, like the poem detected. Who's Wolverine? Who's Wolverine? Wolverine is, um... What's the matter? Sentry? Sentry? What's wrong with Sentry Diglett? Um... Um... God damn it. Um... The footprint is... Maybe Riolus? Maybe Riolus? What? Maybe. But, but it's not a footprint that you normally see around here. Oh, that's pretty crummy. Checking footprints of visiting Pokemon. That's your job, isn't it, Diglett? Yes, but I don't know what I don't know. Uh, are they arguing? So I'm making wait. Well, sure you don't say I'm real from these parts. They don't seem to be bad. Good enough. Enter. Oh Jesus, I am so fucking nervous. He just. Pe J Justin, did you just pee yourself? Um, maybe. I'm glad we finally allowed in. Hearts pounding though. Let's go in. I'll, I'll lead the way, not to run. Th there's a hatch that leads underground here. <laughs> we just disappear as soon as we walk in. Oh my god. Let's bring back shitloads of memories. So this is Wigglytuff's guild. So many Pokemon. I wonder if they're all on exploration teams. Excuse me. Oh my fucking god, I hate this bastard so fucking much. You'll come to understand w later on in the game why, why my least favorite Pokemon is this son of a bitch right here. Ah, oh, great. It's like 1 in the morning. Uh, my parents are asleep. I'm several feet away from them, surrounded by a couple walls. I have no idea how to make a bird voice. Fuck me. Um. <clears throat> I don't know how to do this. I'm. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. Um. Ah, was you? No, that sounds so fucking awkward. I think it'll just come to me one episode. So for now, I'm just gonna make my dick voice. No, no, squeakish voice. It was you two that just came in, right? Um. That doesn't fit him, but sure. I'm Chad out. I'm the Pokemon in the. I'm the Pokemon in the no around these parts. I am Gilmaster Wigglytuff's right hand man. Oh no, not him again. Ah. Now shoot, leave the premises. We have no time for sales people or silly surveys. Off you go, if you please. Well, hold the phone. That's not why we're here. We want to form an exploration team. That's when we came. We want to be trained exploration team. Where we're at? Exploration team? There's a kid like this who wants to apprentice at the guild. It's getting a hard training is. 
Should have saved stream of Puma that ran away from a regular stream for how true that is. Uh, what? Is the training seriously that severe? What, 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 I think I think I would have to just go find um the other the other Cold Clans team and just go for it. What? Well, no, no, no. It's not trying to slide this. It, it's easy as hell. Uh, it, <laughs> yep, it is. Well, well, well. I, I didn't know he's like wagging his tail. Well, 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 I wish you told me up front, you wobby ass, right? <laughs> his attitude suddenly changed, didn't it? He, he didn't give us an option. He was just like, oh, get the fuck out of here. Okay, let's get your team signed right away. Follow me. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Oh, anything wrong? Come on over here. Quickly, please. Well, that was easy. This is the girl's second on the round floor. It's mainly where apprentices work. Team registration is this way. Come along, please. Oh my god. Holy shit, we're two floors under, but you can see the outside. Oh, please, hush now. This girl is built to the side of a cliff, so well, naturally you'll be able to see outside. Uh. Now here we are, Gil Master Wrigley's house chamber. No account. If you have no account, she'll be discourteous to our Gil Master. Gil Master, it's Chad on, I'm coming in. Gil Master, I present to you two Pokemon who wish to join your guild's apprentices. What's up? Gil Master, um, Gil Master? Hiya. <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did I do this to myself? You guys probably didn't even find that funny at all. I need a Wigglytuff voice. Um, hiya. I'm Wigglytuff. I'm the guild's Gil Master. You want to follow our team? Let's go for it. First, we must register your team's name. What's your team's name going to be? Um, well, Mason, go for it. Pokey Pals. No. No. We're... Should I call it 2.0? Let's see if I have room to call the 2.0. Um. Uh, oh, wait, no. Okay, let's see. Can I... Oh, bastards. I can't call it 2.0. I can't call it Cold Clan 2.0. Yeah, that's a good name. A... No, not really. None of us are cold blooded in any way. I'll sell. I'll register your team at. Oh, what? There's a space? Oh, shit. Uh. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Next time I boot this game up, I'm gonna fix it. Because you can fix your team, you can change your team name. Congratulations, from now on your exploration team, I present you with this box. An exploration team kit? Yep, it's what every exploration team needs. Quickly open up. Da -da -da -da. Holy crap. Okay, this never happens. I seriously am going to be shocked with how many of these, uh, Pictures and cutscene things we're having. Okay, we got the Explorer badge, a map, and the bag. Holy crap, there's all sorts of great items in here. That's your exploration badge. It's your official team identification. And there's the Wonder Badge, which is a wonder for convenience. Finally, there's a treasure bag that you carry items you found in dungeons. The success of this next exploration team can lead to bigger, bigger space for your bags. It's a wonderful bag. I hope you can sell your bag. Okay. You always get a defense scarf and a silver bow. Those two items are special. I'm sure they'll help you on your adventures. Thank you. We'll do our best. Yep. But you're only apprenticing, so do your best to train. You will. Do your best, Mason. All right. Three, two, one. To, um, I think Dabbing is back in 2017. Let's leave that back in 2017. It's 2018 now, bitches. This is our bed room. Great, we get beds. What you thought? You thought we were. So I I always wondered what he meant by that. You thought we were going to sleep on the fucking floor? I remember one time reading one of Chugger Conroy's uh, Mother Three uh, comments, and it was the one where Flint got his ass arrested. Some guy said, "No, Chugger said that it's a it's a." Cold, hard, concrete floor. There's no way in hell Flynn can get some rest. 
And some guy in the comments said, I slept in there for It was alright. So I'm actually, I remember one time on the same uh, sports team I went to last year, I slept in the closet. But I had a blanket as a little mattress, and the and the blanket was a carpet, and I used a big ass sweater as a pillow, uh, not a pillow, as a blanket, and we only slept for four hours because we were all up at twelve and we had to leave at four. Then we all then everybody made um me getting out of the closet jokes. Sorry if I offended people. You'll live here while you work for us. Thanks for time getting busy for you tomorrow. Rise early, so I live up to their code. I follow the CEC, bitch. Don't stay up too late. Get to sleep early night, that's all. I don't follow that rule at all. I don't. First week of school. Oh god, my brother always says every time it's a full moon, guess what happens? Are uh, you still awake, Mason? I was racing all day today over every little thing. I'm glad I finally made myself come here. I thought Wiggly's have to be scary, but he seems pretty friendly. I'm gonna experience all sorts of things starting tomorrow, but I'm not very scared. In fact, it's the other way around. I'm super excited about the adventures we'll face. I'm a little sleepy. Let's give our all tomorrow. Night, Mason. <sighs> well, now. I'm suddenly apprenticing at the guild. I gotta admit, it's pretty exciting to be in the guild. I just want to be friends with Justin. First things first. Who am I? How did I turn to a Pokemon? How did I end up unconscious at that beach? Like I said, beach is where I spend most of my days. Chilling out on the lookout, I was taking a nap when my... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm feeling sleepy too. One well, thing about it won't help right now. I better focus on the guild's work for now. If I do that, well... I think it should become clear eventually. I'm sure I'll get the bottom of this in time. Snores. I'm feeling pretty damn sleepy myself. You can start record progress by climbing your bed. So whenever you want to save your progress, just climb onto your bed. Oh fuck! I can't. I... The voice is supposed to be loud. I can't do that right now. So hey, hey there, rise and shine, motherfucker. Oh crap. My my fucking head. What what so what a ridiculously loud noise. I almost blasting my eardrums. Why are you still asleep? Wake up. Ah, my poor ears. Got that out of it. I'm Loudred. And I'm a fellow apprentice. If you're late for a morning breathing, you'll be sorry. So move it. A certain Guildmaster has got a big temper to make him lose it. Tell me that'll be one scary scene. If you from just think about it, yeesh. So anyway, I'm about to get in trouble because you brick has got weight. So get in gear. You know, my ears, I'm, I, I don't know what the fuck Riolu is, but his ears are probably more sensitive than a friggin' human. So I think that is really loud on me. I probably shouldn't be a Riolu. Uh, my ears are ringing. What do you say? Somebody getting ready? It was at this moment that we all knew that we fucked up. Oh, crap. We signed as apprentices with the skill. That's right. That means, ah, oh, crap. We totally overslept. We gotta hurry, Mason. Now to run. You're late, rookies. Hush. Your voice is ridiculously loud. <laughs> We're not that late. Or we seem to be present. Very well. Let's conduct our morning address. Go, master. The guild's in full attendance. Yeah, bitches. Thank you. Thank you, good master. Please trust the crew. Good master regular have never ceased to amaze me. Yeah, I got that right. Yup, looks like he's wide awake. Eek, his eyes are wide open, but he's fast asleep. Thank you, sir. Well, about your uh, words of wisdom. Um, so, so can you repeat that again? <laughs> okay, but I want to take our good master's words of heart of wisdom to heart. Um, so, so do we all just have to like? Sn Pretend to snore. Finally, let's not all forget our morning tears. All together now. A one, a two, one, two, three, four, one. Don't sh shir sh I don't know. shirk, shriek, shriek, work. Two, run away and pay. Three, smiles go for miles. 
Kipomon get to work. I don't know what's so hooray about this. Uh, what should we do? I'm just gonna look at my bow rain aura energy. Holy crap! I didn't even. Fuck you. Hey, should we? Just... I just, I just turned to face you, bruh. Dude, come here. Okay. You're just a beginner. Well, if you start with this assignment, it's the job building board. Pobo from various regions post. I forget my fucking voice. You aware that bad poem are coming up in greater numbers, right? Yep. Because the flow of time is getting messed up. Shrinking havoc, right? That's why lots of po bad Pokemon are appearing. Flow of time is getting messed up? Time? As in hours and minutes? Do they mean something's gone wrong with time here? Because that more and more bad Pokemon popping up? What's going on here? Precisely. Time is getting out of whack and causing an outbreak of bad Pokemon. Perhaps because of all that. There was an increase in the number of jobs. Conditions unknown. It is because of time's influence, but we get more work, so whatever. <clears throat> There's been mass outbreak of mystery dungeons. Mystery dungeons? So Mason, you know you got my rug fragment back yesterday? The place we found it in was a mystery dungeon. The mystery dungeon changes each time you go into it. There's a different layout and different items every time you enter. If in the middle of a dungeon, you lose half your money. You can lose half your items or more. Finally, you get kicked out. They're really strange places. I mean, like, what the hell? So it's like, here's an example. Um, I just walk out to my house and then there's like a freaking sewer system right next to it. Oh, look, it's a mystery dungeon. I go in, freaking sewer system is messed up. How is people supposed to get their shit into the water, into the system then? Man, it's going to be some... I, I think the, um, the workers are going to have some serious explainings to do. Every time you go inside, there's always new things to discover. Really are fantastic places to go exploring. Yes. Um, mystery dungeons are completely, uh, random. I can't believe it took me 17 minutes to get to this point in this episode, but, well, you're quite informed, aren't you? It makes things much easier for me to explain. Dobbs take all the place in mystery dungeons. So, let's look for a job that you should perform. Ah, yes, maybe this will do. Oh, really? Let's read it. Hello, my name is Spoink. Never lost one of my most prized possession, my pearl. Pearl's life to me. Pearl itself is life to me. I probably said that wrong again, but whatever. I just can't seem to settle down that pearl isn't in the proper place atop my head. But I heard my pearl has been sighted. It's going to be on a rocky bluff. This bluff poor me extremely unsafe. You can never go somewhere so frightening. Oh, friendly readers, would you just go, be so kind to go to the buff and get my pearl? I beg your help. Exploration team is from Spoink. Um, I think I remember reading the Pokedex entry that apparently if Spoink doesn't have the pearl on top of his head, it will die, so... This guy must be on IV or something. Um, w wait a second. We're gonna fetch an item that someone dropped? I'd rather do something that's more of an adventure. We're looking for treasure, explore unknown places, things like that. Hush. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's important that you rookies pay your dues. Now pay attention. Repeat the warnings, make sure you stay. Blah, 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 blah. We already know this shit already. Shut the fuck up. If you understand all that, get on with the fucking job. Uh, that's why I don't like him already. Oh, yeah. This will be the boss entrance. This point's mission description said the pearl is on B7. Oh, my God. I thought it was on B6. All right. 18 minutes. We can now hold an item each. Okay. When we're going to Pokemon over. Come on. Um. Okay. That was easy. We can get that... Geo gravel, geo pedal, pedal thing up. Well, okay, you can go fuck him up. I'm just gonna go grab this and I'm just gonna just back the fuck up. Let's keep it up. Oh, lovely. Come on. Come here. I, I, I love quick attack. How many hours at extreme speed? Give me that poke dollar. Yeah, but look, I'm gonna get hungry. 
Sorry, I'm not really taking these uh, guides too seriously. It's just I'm kind of sick of the guides because I already played this game once. And it, and, oh, I'm level seven. Okay, so I'm guessing we, we level at the same time. We, uh, he levels the same time I level up. All right, I'm down with that. Give me that money. Oh, ball sack. Oh. Nothing. Oh, crap. Alright, trench bluff D3. Uh, we already know about the experience points thing. Um, oh, hello there. Quick attack. Destroyed. Oh, an apple. Oh, come on. We already know about this stuff already. Got much joy, so I'd kill him. Kill them all. Oh, Lord. Are you serious? An apple. It's a big one. I think you could find big ones in this this early in the game. Okay. Do, 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 Come on, stop fucking around. Where are we on? I'm kind of tired. After this episode, I'm heading to bed. Not liking this. Nope, uh, quick attack. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, we're nearly there. Seed. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah. Huh? What? This is an orenberry, isn't it? If you look closer, this is not an A, it's an E. This is an orenberry look like item. I just want to make sure the damn info, make sure you get the right item, not one of these sneaky ones. Huh? Oh, that what a troll! Oh my god, this game free, what the fuck? What the fuck, game freak? Game Freaks find out ways to troll me already. Um, let's use the switch option. Okay, here's one of the things I like. You can do that instead of going to item. Give. And then you have to go to team. Use item. That's what I like about this game. You just like go in the menu and it's like, oh, who wants to use this? Oh, just, mm. Party member one. Oh, nice. I swear to God, it just moved. <sighs> we have the same experience pool, don't we? Okay, I need a pesh berry. That was a pesh berry. Or is it a pesh berry? I wonder how many times I'm going to get a f false item. It's going to be fun. I got one so far and it did 10 points of damage to me. On. 
God damn it. Alright, we finally made it to the end. No bosses. Oh, look at that. So I see Swing's Pearl. So we're back with him. Just gonna take it and just like teabag it. And... Thank you. The pearl must must be propped on my head. You see, I missed so much. I couldn't settle down without up there. So it's just boinging and springing everywhere. That's why I'm covering dings and bumps. But thanks to you. My long nightmare is over. With my sincere thanks. Here you go. Have protein. Akihiko will definitely like it. Calcium. And iron. And also two grand. No nothing wrong with that. I mean, I have seven grand in my bank account. Oh, I shouldn't tell you, you guys that. Hires want to find me. And take it all away from me. And then I'm be like, what the fuck am I going to do now? What? Two grand? All this money for us? Of course, of course. That has nothing to pay with our value. Farewell. It's worth 10,000 million. It's not like a couple, it's not like a hundred trillion or a gazillion. We're rich, Mason. You got rich just like that. Well done, team. Now here comes the troll part. Now hand that money over. Most of the money from jobs goes to the guild master, you see? And your team share of the money comes out to... 10%. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. Well, it's a guild's rule, so we have to accept it. <laughs> Everyone, thanks for waiting. I finished making dinner. Come on, dinner's on. <laughs> just fucking look at Loudred. Just, just fucking look at that dude. He's just, he just took crack. Loudred just decided to just like take crack on his break, and that's the result of it. What the hell are we eating anyway? It looks like just fruit. Aww. I'm done eating an excellent meal. I'm stuffed. Now I'm getting sleepy. Yep, I'm off bed. Bed. Night, gang. Night. Oh, come on. We had this two days in a row. I'm pretty sure that's impossible. Listen, Mason. Was today hectic? So much happened. I don't believe that our first job was a success. It's really upsetting how Wiggly Top's Guild took most of the money. That's just the cost of training, I guess. Can't do anything about it. What made me really happy though was game thing by Spoink. <sighs> I can't sleep. I'm going to sleep. Let's try my snowball. Night. All right. Oh Jesus. Where are we getting to this action already? Up oh, there, yeah, it's morning. Yeah, we're gonna see this a lot now. Oh, morning, Mason. Would you like to save your adventure? Oh! We have a save and continue and return to top menu. I guess we can return to top menu. I never never show you guys what it looks like. Oh, hello there. Adventure log demo dungeon. Change windows, rename team. There we go. Um, adventure log. I killed a Pokemon. Oh, that's my friend code in case you guys want to like send shit to me. <laughs> or, yeah, that's actually a legit code. It's random. That means I can use all these cheats and you guys can do things with it. Nah, I'm kidding. I wouldn't cheat. But anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Pobo Mr. Dungeon. Uh, Explore the sky. Next episode, we're going to go on with chapter 3. Thanks for watching. Peace.